please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Yes, good day, everybody. This is Face TV Africa. And, um, Nkota Masolini, Oma Dalori Yoro, and Nigerian government, Ashwadi Bola Ametinungu, the president of the country, the NLPC, especially, and the past, I want to want to so, Kutu Duri, Ashwadi Bola Ametinungu, which is the president of Nigeria now. Now, I want us to know one thing that if we want this country to be, you know, to overcome all these challenges, I want to come to the country. Kini Kwatani Latishi. And I want to speak with the youth. We youth, we have to understand one thing. Ah, le kubu bu mkwata anfe bu bu shuro wa ka kusu jukon. Ama ma yomon ba yon wani. E wolo wa important ju. Ta wa fe jeki Nigeria economy ko grossi. I beni koko fe ti bere. But I want us to play one video. That video, during Jonathan regime, lo slo promise a wanyo. We come out worry. But after that, Nigerian youths, we troop outside, we are protesting, saying that this government is bad. Now, we now know the one that is good and the one that is bad. Let me play that video. This government will not inflict pain on ourselves. This government is a government elected by ordinary Nigerians. We will offend God if we do things to bring perpetual pain to Nigerians. We give, we give all the best we can for this government to be installed. Yet, after the selection of this government, there's no time we are insecure like this time. There's no time Nigerians are unsafe like this time. There's no time we experience hardship like this time. There is no time. That is during the during Jonathan regime. Bashiman son me every time. Talk about the Wally. Ah, tell you, Oko Darara. Now we now see what is going on. Time you won't protest new. Do not and address nation. Fine. Let me let me play the video of Buari when he's talking about uh subsidy. Like I take play, you know. Timbati play your tongue, then my wash about play to Buari to Tunubu. I don't understand what the Nigerian economist and the member of the government their definition. Of that they are subsidizing Nigeria, Nigeria for the oil they are buying. Who is subsidizing who? The Nigerian oil industry, petroleum industry, was developed with Nigerian capital. In fact, most of the expertise are Nigerians. If you go into the field, is Nigerian capital? Is Nigerian oil? What I understand, Nigeria should charge Nigerians is the cost of one barrel at the wellhead and then the cost of transportation to the refinery, the cost of refining it and its cost at the pump. If anybody said he is subsidizing anything, he is a fraud. He's a fraud, my stock man. Now, sharing got also share my people but before I go to wall in the video you but to wallet, she put off some subsidy here. What they are supposed to fraud me? Can you move it? I the solution, my mother is financing. That's the second one. I'm going to play another video of Ashwadi Bola Metinumbu. Oh, no, against Jonathan, in time, but Jonathan called cost of week. The subsidy, we are going to remove that subsidy. I don't know what happened to these our leaders. You know that this thing is good, but you want, you want, to, you want to paint yourself as a messiah, but you know that this thing is good. But because you want to paint yourself as a messiah, you engage it. Now, with the backfire from you know, this scene. But let, let, let's now see. You can see, as I told you, you need to go to the world. You understand? To contest with the president. It will be tough. Tough decisions. Why should I be paying uh, some nice petrol for Cameroon? For Niger? For Benin Republic. Ah, 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 ah. No matter how long you protest, though, we are going to remove subsidy. Now, she said, but who was sincere? But who was sincere? Tell her because I'm very sure they will knew 
Mi bo koti bo Jonathan fe she ni time yen o da. But because won fe wole, won je fe ye kan won yan ri awon as a messiah just to see them as a messiah. They engage the tap, they engage that policy. And they they are the ones that gather people to protest against Jonathan. Now, o ti fo back lo no lo si won wa fe ko protest lo lo fine. But at least everybody to realize it be subsidy is a fraud. But to me, it's not a fraud. It be talk bad she lo she fraud, and I will tell you the reason why. Now, you said you are going to remove subsidy, and you will remove subsidy. Fine. You are the president of this country, and you are also the president. You are also the minister of petroleum because I am the minister of petroleum. Fine. What is happening to our refinery? Because we are paying more than seven, some people paying 720, some pay 900 in other states and other stuff. Now, in Quanto Far, because that they removed that fuel subsidy, the subsidy, that is the reason why Nigeria is in pain now. But the solution is this, Mr. President. What is happening to our refinery? The four refinery we will have, or three refinery we have, is not working now. During Buhari regime, I'm going to play Keyari, uh, Mela Keyari, the, the NNPC boss. I'm going to play that video for you, just for you to know that they've been promising us that they are going to fix that refinery. Do you know that before Buhari regime tenure, before, before their tenure, I think in 2014, the parliament, they said Nigerians spent more than $25 billion to fix Nigerian refinery. A job, a lonely dango tea, no see refinery in your con, to Nikato, to their capacity, or duty, men anything in Nigeria. More than, let's say, double Tibobo in Nigeria, Tibango tea julo. And now, we are now saying that we spent $25 billion. Why dango tea spent only $20 billion on this refinery? Now, I take a fancy what is really happening to our refinery? What is the solution? The solution is this. The revenue that Nigeria is generating, someone generates in Nigeria presently, see Nigeria can generate out of oil sector is 75%. New one near Lori Lori oil sector. A top is 35, maybe you could go anything to export. She understand. But eight and generate it after you would do or you could do it, which is 75% or 65%. Now, if we youth decided that our refinery must work, that boss it that protects the refinery, you go to work, then don't let me deceive you. Two more batty shake and you cool the streets. Because they've been promising us that they want to fix this refinery since last year, once we see December last year. Now, also this uh, January, uh, March. Now, my play, I think I play video. Am I again badly? I'm going to play that Mela uh, Kiyari, the NPC boss. My play video. I'm going to play video for my no. If I want to play video, can go video here. Can go go to Sombe. Can go to Bong go to Chile. Let me. Due to my expectation from Nigerians, so why can we be an oil producing country with four refineries and yet importing sometimes hundred percent of our Petroleum product requirement. It's very sad. The GMD Emeritus has told you the steps that we have taken when the Petroleum refinery is going to be in place. But I assure you, GMD, we will follow it up to make sure that within the life of this administration, before Baba's tenure ends in 2023, we'll deliver only for the families. Sherry, can you put a home before Kit Buari to finish tenure? I want my deliverable before the final is here. And your portion promised me a lot of joy. They've been promising us, but failing. Now, everybody part of the in Nigeria, do not have any hope. Hope, no matter what you see, what you do. And listen, Tinubu, no, God, you knew hope, see what you do. They first give us hope, I'm going to cool down. Now, before the end of the tenure of Buhari, Oti Kodjansin, a joy, but in the final, you are. You people are deceiving us. And now, I need to focus. I'm a focus. No, 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 protest. Any time I focus, they do the president because you are the minister of petroleum. You have to know the reason why. 
see Nigeria, see uh, the panel is what you are in place now. You people are saying you are done with it by uh, December. We are not. We are giving you December. I want you to just calm down. I think this is the solution. If it actually generates seventy five percent of revenue in Nigeria, really, see Abale make sure we I make sure we more share the panel in your phone. Oje and she share, but we support the dangote. We don't need. We don't need to suffer again any longer because in cotton bull while not telling you we pay on my imports petrol they no matter what sub 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 subsidize it on for any problem but so bad today we pay nigeria the country want in she or pay wa amatima exports she i understand now about to export to i only was subs only was subsidized petrol your full nigerians so more the lati Chef, I want diaspora. I want to want to the labor country. Now, I think this is the solution. Now, Mr. President, uh, NLPC say before June, June to Koja. Now, what is going on? You people now say December, end of December, 2024. Let's give them end of December, 2024. They are saying that um, the uh, the the refinery in Port is going to work before December, and the one in uh, Kaduna. The four refinery must work, and you have to support Dangote refinery too, because people propaganda that one play against Dangote. The new, I want to why behind it one more cotton one shape. Nigba tine jiri about butter, ti adu kusititi. We you must fix that refinery and support Dangote refinery. Ti ko ba da e e pe bo shema da be to da wa taste. Tine jiri afi ma wa okay. If we can solve all this problem, I'm telling you. Nigeria is going to great again. I call the work okay at if at if fixing here, what you could because that is the source of our problem. Nigeria will generate more revenue. Kini crude oil in Nigeria, T T crude oil and tan tan tick tick tick. During Jonathan is about two point something barrel per day. Larry, before Kiti Boari to crude oil, it drop down to nine hundred to one point one barrel per day. The effort of Boari and Tinubu now. Lofi increase was 1.6 million barrel per day. And they are now saying that, okay, they want to make sure pay okay, one meter of what 2 million barrel per day. So that one they must support, one they must phone Dangote refinery, none in crude oil. If all these things can, if it can come to reality, Emma Jekin Tony, Emma Jekin Tony, Nigeria is going to great again. That, that is the major issue. I think I focus really in Kong Tabakuro Luriti. Or could do a bill or any piece to solve for a final way and do to solve. Eh, I said, What boss will you pick? Can you got a fish in Louis Power? Can you got a fish in Louis Agriculture? To me, Tabanko will be in a deal of diving power. Can you got all maybe power? And we pay the fuel time not to one not of inquiry. What he increase and what he give a new era. So, no matter how, and the car said, To no boom, we pay. We see basically protest. We need to sort it out. We go see what they basically protest. Oh, the DAF subsidy pada. Now you people are saying that you are paying subsidy. Say you are not paying subsidy. Fine. Ashiri matu too. Ah, cooking pay. Cooking pay now. Because all these things, everybody more people are afraid to. And I think this is the major solution. If they can fix our refinery, they won't import anything. They will petrol more. To want to subsidize petrol, to want to take your subsidy. To buy the water, they produce everything in Nigeria. We buy. Only what's up, okay? I want more citizens in Nigeria. We buy like your phone, we have subsidized from our petrol. So, only reduce drastically. But for now, for those people that are protesting, I think we have to stop. That is the our solution. To buy the real and the final is what fix that. To make any change. To want to support Dangote Refinery. Don't let me deceive you. Nigeria is going to great again. My name is Uyeye Milekuti. Bye for now. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Muswobi.